What's up guys, this is Rasim from RossBarTech.com. How are you guys doing? I'm doing well, hopefully you guys are doing well too. Now this is video three, part two of our water-cooled Xbox One S build. Just saying the words water-cooled Xbox One, that's freaking crazy. I didn't see too many people water-cooled an Xbox One S yet. So hopefully I'm one of the few and hopefully you guys enjoy these type of videos. Now, if you guys enjoy these type of videos, give me a like. If you give me a like, I'll know you guys are interested in these type of videos and I'll keep doing more of these type of videos. If you guys have any suggestions on what I should be water cooling next, leave it in the comment. I'll read you guys' comments, any cool ones, I'll probably do. Now, this video is gonna be a cool video because I'm gonna show you guys how the water cooling loop works. We're gonna be running a lot of that little cable to the little copper addition blocks. I'll show you in a second. So let's get started. All right, guys, now we're gonna run this little three millimeter tubing to each one of these little copper one additions. Now I'm gonna leave a link to everything you see here in the description if you guys are interested. There are gonna be two of them. One is gonna be here, the other one is gonna be here. And I'm only gonna use four of these splitters at a time. I'm gonna use one of these rubber pieces that are meant for the splitter to block it off. So I'm just gonna place this here, push it down. Do the same thing with the other splitter. Take it here, just push it down. All right, again, one's going here. The other one is going over here. You can see these splitters, they have two different ways you can attach fittings to it. You can attach a fitting on both sides or you could attach these like blocks. If you want to just use one side and block off the other side like we're going to do, you can use one of these plugs, they call them. These are G and one quarter plugs and these are G and one quarter threaded fittings here. And you could block off one side. You could, you could use both sides if you want, but I'm going to block off one side like so. And the way it's going to work again, I'm gonna have the outlet of this CPU block going into the first one, which would be the one right over here, right? So once uh, the fitting and the tubing is connected to this one, it's gonna convert this fitting into the smaller tubing. This tubing here, this is the three millimeter tube that you can find in the description if you guys are interested. And I'm gonna split it off in fours. So four of these tubes are gonna go to four of these blocks or whichever way I put it. The outlet of each block is gonna jump into the next four the outlet of those blocks are gonna jump into the next floor and the next floor till we get to the next fitting, which will be up here. The end of this is gonna to turn to that big tubing. I'll have a fitting here. That big tubing is gonna go outside to the top of the Xbox into the reservoir. And that's how the whole loop is gonna work. So let's finish off running the tubes for these water blocks. So I'm gonna do the first one. I'm gonna cut off some tubing here and I'm gonna start by going to these four water blocks right here from here. So I'm gonna cut it as much as I need for all the tubes. So that should be enough for that one. Then I'm gonna cut it, straight cuts. And these are barbed fittings on top of these little water blocks. So I'm gonna go into this one right here, connect it to here, right? Now the first one is connected, right? Remember, push down hard because these are barbed fittings. Now let's do the second one. Now the second one, I'm gonna connect this part to here, push it down, and let's just measure it up with our hand, like so. That should be enough right there. And I'm just gonna cut it with my scissor, straight cut, place it onto here, like so. Push it down. Now the third one, I'm gonna place the tube right here. Place the tube down here, push down. These are barbed fittings. And I'm going to connect the next water block. I'm gonna connect the next copper additions like so. And I'm gonna cut it right here. Cut straight lines. We're going to connect it to the next water block. This is the third one. Push it down. Right, now the next one. Let's connect the last tube to this splitter here. Push it down, measure it up with our hand. And it's gonna go right here like so. Cut it, cut it straight. Place it through, push it. Oops, wrong one. <laughs> That's the outlet. Push it down. And voila. So now we have this splitter connect, connecting all four of these blocks here. We have it in the inlet of each one of these blocks. Now, as you can see, there's an outlet in each block. So the outlet I'm gonna have connected to another four. So one, two, three, four are gonna go to another four of these. It's like a little chain. And uh, those four are gonna go to another four, and so on and so forth. So now I'm just gonna speed up this process because you guys know how it's gonna work. And I'll come back once it's finished.
so I finished running the three millimeter cable to all the water blocks and to all the splitters. Doesn't it look freaking sick? I think it freaking looks crazy. Now, the way it works is, let's start off with this block here. So I have four of these three millimeter tubes going into four of these water blocks right here. One, two, three, four. I have the outlet of these four jumping into this side here. One, two, three, four. Then I have the outlet of these four jumping into these four. One, two, three, four. Then I have the outlet of these four jumping into these four. One, two, three, four, right? Then I have the outlet of those four jumping into this splitter here, four cables. Now I'm gonna put in a fitting here and now it's gonna convert it to that big cable. That big cable is gonna go back into the Xbox into the res pump combo. The res pump combo is gonna go out to the radiator. The radiator is gonna go out into the Xbox. When it comes into the Xbox, it's gonna go back into this inlet. Once it comes back into the Xbox, it's gonna go back into this inlet of this water block. Then it's gonna go out the outlet. The out the outlet is gonna go into this part, this fitting, then it's gonna start the whole loop again. Then it's gonna come out here, out the Xbox, into the res pump combo, and that's how the whole thing is gonna work. Hopefully you guys understand how this whole thing is gonna work. It looks complicated, but it's not really that complicated. It took me a while to, to plan this out. I wanted to make sure I didn't make any mistakes. I know you guys, you're gonna see some of the stuff on my board, and you're gonna say, it's, it, this isn't right, this isn't right. Leave your comments, I'll address all your comments. If you're right, I'll say you guys are right. But as far as I know, I think I did it correctly. Again, if you guys think I did it wrong, leave a comment. I'll uh, I'll take your criticism, I like criticism. And if I think you're right, I'll, I'll say you're right. Now, since the last video, some of these water blocks here have shifted over, they're not perfectly straight now. A lot of you guys are gonna make a comment about that. I'm gonna get super trolled about that. I already got trolled about the thermal pads on the bottom of these uh, water blocks. Some of them I didn't put on 100% correct. You know, I have a little bit of the thermal pad hanging. I don't think it's a problem. It doesn't affect the overall performance of the loop. But a lot of you guys are trolling me about it. If you guys have any criticism, leave it in the comments and I'll be sure to answer any of you guys' comments. All right guys, you probably guessed what I'm gonna do now. Have everything connected. The reason I connected everything is because I wanna test it out. I wanna make sure that nothing leaks. I wanna make sure that that res pump combo works. I want to make sure that that power supply works and I want to make sure that that radiator works and I want to make sure that none of these fittings are leaking. So we're going to test it out. I'm going to fill it up with liquid. Again, what's powering this device is going to be that Pico power supply right there. And how am I going to turn it on? Using this switch right here. I'll just switch it on. We're going to fill it up with some liquid. We're going to test it out and hopefully everything works out fine. So let's start filling it up. The liquid we're going to be using in this build is the XSPC UV green and we're going to fill it up right now. I got this funnel. Alright, so we filled it a little bit, now I'm going to turn on the switch, let's see if it works. Alright, so let's pump in some more. Alright guys, check it out, the loop is running successfully, everything is working the way it should be working. Look at that liquid, it looks freaking sick. And it looks sick without the UV light. Imagine when I install the UV light, that's going to look amazing. So this is just to test out all the water cooling stuff. And uh, I'm gonna deassemble it and put it back in the system, then reassemble all the water cooling stuff. In the next video, we're actually going to mod the Xbox, drill, put holes where we need to put holes, cut things out so that we could fit the Xbox with the water cooling stuff. And uh, there will probably be another part after that. But this is pretty much it for this part. How do you guys like this? This freaking looks amazing. I gotta say this thing's fucking beautiful. <laughs> Look at that, man. That's like my thumbnail right there. <laughs> In this video, we got a lot done. We were able to run all the tubing. We filled it up with liquid. We ran the pump and everything works freaking beautifully. I am so happy. If you guys like this video, please give me a like. It's pretty much it for this video. If you guys like this video, please give me a like. If you want more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. Stay tuned to the next part, part three of our build. I'm Rasim from RossBarTech.com and thank you guys for watching.